Hi guys, today I want to show you how you can kill or at least remove the GWX Windows 10 icon on startup of your machine. Um, you all have probably seen this little icon here down on the right of your Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 uh, machine. And this is the update for Windows 10 automatically forced by Microsoft. There are a few um, versions on the net how you can get rid of them, like uh, uninstalling the update or deleting the folder in the Windows system directory. For me, actually, none of these uh, worked so far. And so I want to show you uh, how I did it. So what you will see basically in the video is that we will first um, create two files. One is a PowerShell script and the other file is simply a small uh, commandlet to start the PowerShell script when we are starting the machine. So basically, just to summarize this, we will not delete the GWX uh, file or we will not remove it, we will just kill it every time we start the machine so it won't be there anymore. So this is our first file we have to create in Notepad. Um, uh, one thing is very important, you can name it like you want, but um, the file has to have a dot .ps1 at the end. This is not PlayStation 1, it's the PowerShell uh, ending so that your machine can start it. And then we have two lines in the script. The first line is start sleep uh, minus seconds 10. And this is kind of important because when your machine starts, the GWX process will not start immediately. It will mainly start at last, so you need a little delay uh, so that the process can be killed. I have here 10 seconds. You may want to rise this a little bit um, in case your system needs a bit longer to start. The second line is actually the killing of the process. So you will use the stop minus process command and then its name and this GWX, this is the name of the process for the Windows 10 update. Um, you can check in your task manager it's always here, GWX, that's the name of the process and that's the process we want to kill. So to summarize, one file um, with the ending .ps1 and two lines, start sleep minus seconds 10, this is for the start delay of the script and the second line, stop process, which means killing the GWX actually. So the second file we need is a little commandlet to um, start the script we just created. So um, you can again name it like you want but it has to end with dot cmd for a command that it can be started. And then uh, you have to input this very long line. Um, you will also find it in the video description so that you don't have to type it. This line actually starts uh, the Windows PowerShell and uh, we need the Windows PowerShell to execute uh, the script we have just created. And this line here is actually important because normally you won't be allowed uh, to execute PowerShell scripts on your machine. But with this simple line we overwrite this setting for a moment and then here we execute our script. Um, I would advise you that you place this file, the command file, and the script file, which is this, in one directory. For me, I've just created a, a directory named PowerShell scripts. It's directly under my C hard disk, and there are the two files. If we look at the uh, command file again, um, it executes the script, kill GWX, and in the end it also writes a log file if there is any error encountered. So now you have these two files 
and now we have to bring them um, to start and therefore we go to this directory so this is um, depending on your hard disk um, for me it's C and then we go to users then there is your username in my case it's Benjamin so we go to users Benjamin application data roaming Microsoft Windows start menu program startup because now we will place a shortcut uh, to one of the files here so this is our what you can see this is our startup folder and here we have the folder with our PowerShell scripts. We just created and the command that. So now you can see here's a shortcut in this linking to that file. So you just right click it when you want to create a new one and drag it over to startup and said okay create shortcuts here and then you have to try to command shortcut and this ensures that next time when you start your system the GVX icon here will be automatically killed. Okay, now I'm going to show you what this looks like. Um, I will now uh, execute this uh, manually, but um, if you have placed it here and start your machine, it will be uh, executed automatically. I just can't do this because um, I can't record it so fast when it starts. So here we have this file. Um, I will click it now. Um, and now you can see it opens a PowerShell windows. We have a 10 seconds wait and then it will disappear. So now it's gone and you can still see that the, the icon is still here, but if we hover over it, then it just disappears. And if we check the task manager, it's also gone. What we have done is we've created two files, a PowerShell script and a commandlet to start the PowerShell script when starting the machine. We have created a shortcut and placed it in the startup folder of your machine. So next time you restart your machine, you will see that the GWX process, which is the Windows 10 update will be killed automatically. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask them. You will also find all the content from this video in the description. Thank you and see you next time.